go and talk to the people. All right, so Bunny is here and I'm here. Okay, you guys, no vlog this week. I am upset. I'm livid. I'm just. I've been. I've been yapping. Almost finished talking to you guys. I had even realized that the camera wasn't even on. The camera wasn't even on. <laughs> I'm gonna start over. I don't know if I mentioned this, but no vlog this week because <laughs> I just I, I wasn't really into my footage. You know, it was a little boring. Mm, this and that here and there. So I'm like, eh, I'm not gonna vlog this week. I am going to do my bread story. I was asked to do it multiple times, but I just I'm like okay. So I'm gonna do the bird story. Oh, here's the bird story. May 20th, 2020, at 5 o'clock in the morning, I wake up after peeing 99 times in the night. I go and I used the bathroom again again at 5 o'clock in the morning <laughs> it felt like 99 times okay go use the bathroom and all I hear is kaplunk like okay I'm half asleep I'm not thinking oh, that could be a mucus plug which it was like okay uh, I get up I flushed the toilet I didn't see anything in the toilet so that means that the mucus plug was completely clear nothing no blood no nothing so I didn't really think anything of it and I already brushed that out of my mind because I'm tired okay I am nine months pregnant I'm tired I I just yeah 37 weeks I'm ready to just to just get get this over with let's just get this baby out but anyways um i didn't want her to come out at that point just yet because i mean i'm 37 weeks she can bake in there maybe out a week more and i'll be fine baby should be fine but um <clears throat> but um i get back into bed and i lay down and i'm like okay I'm supposed to go to that, go to, I had a doctor's appointment that morning for him to check my cervix, make sure everything is looking alright, good for birth and all of that. I'm like, alright then, cool. I try to start dozing back off to sleep. Boom. All of a sudden, you start seeing a ton of water gushing. I'm like, tsh, 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 water gushing. Just took all this water like like probably it felt like a liter of water just gushing okay it just it just started gushing I'm like what what is this I'm like whoa whoa, whoa what <laughs> so then I'm like babe babe I think my water broke <laughs> so then Marvin is like Marvin is like what what no she he was sleeping right so he's like what what, what? <laughs> So I'm like, man, my water broke. So he's like, all right, then. Cool. So he's like, all right, then. He, he um, he gets up and he just grabs a, a bunch of a bunch of towels and just shove it on me. I'm like, I'm like, it doesn't even make sense at that point because the bed was already soaked. So like, what's the towels for? So he just he still shoves it on me. And so now I'm sitting there at the edge of the bed. I'm like, okay. So what now? A sense of calm just came over me after I'm like, whoa, from the water. I'm like, all right then. So then this means that I'm in labor. <laughs> like, what now? I'm like, so I'm like, Marvin, my bag's not finished packing now. I still have some stuff left to put in the bag. I have no towel in the bag. I don't have the birth blankets that they to receiving blankets. I can't remember the name. Receiving blanket. I don't have any of that in there. I have her blankets for her, you know, for afterwards. But I didn't have the receiving blanket. Um, all of that, like different, different little things that I needed to put in the bag. 
didn't have any of them so I'm like okay so I'm thinking I'm checking off the list in my mind what is I need to get um, which I'm forgetting that I had my list with my book that I can check off everything all right then I am gonna call mommy because mommy is like when you go into labor make sure you call me or whatever so she was the first person that popped into my head so I call her and um, call her and no answer I'm like all right then cool mommy and aunts don't answer the phone who else can I call so I I message started messaging people on whatsapp I start I message everybody in the house and I said to my, my brothers and sisters message all of them message um message um Alice my bestie and message I message Kisa and a bunch of other people I think I don't really remember um yeah, it was six months ago I don't remember so <laughs> message Kisa Alice and all of them and uh, Kisa was the only one that messaged me back because it was like really early in the morning this is like 5 30 so I'm you not really expecting anybody to message me back Kisa is the only one that that responds right away she calls me she's like she's like what you're in labor I'm coming <laughs> and she's, I'm like you're coming right now she's like yeah I'm coming so she comes she comes to the house and she's like this is um like like 15 minutes later I hear knocking on the door boom 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 I'm like what she reach quick come she come in she comes in Marvin lets her in and um her and her, her husband is outside and she comes in I'm standing up in the room I'm scorched naked okay no not one drop of clothes on um at this point um, so then she's like so she's like you're calm you're okay i'm like yeah i'm fine i'm i'm straight chilling i'm just here yeah. i sign up trying to think i i don't finish packing my hospital bag and so now and why i need to get in my hospital bag and she said but you really calm you're doing good man like i'm like okay <laughs> just standing there in the room naked <laughs> so then the, um at this point chinessa and Shada Sh says Shada and them they wake up and they come to the room <coughs> Shada says Shada and they're like you message us on whatsapp why didn't just come to the room and call us why didn't call us on our phone I'm like I don't know <laughs> and Kisa cuts and then Shada says she wake up and she just see Kisa in the house and all of that it's like she don't even know what carrying on <laughs> I'm in labor what <laughs> um so what happens yeah so I am there still naked mommy calls and like mommy's like um your water broke you need to get to the hospital right now you need to get to the hospital I'm like okay okay and she's like hurry up you need to get to the hospital but well, I'm so calm right I just like whatever <laughs> yeah I go I I had my clothes set out. That's one thing I made sure I did. I had my clothes set out just in case I, you know, I go into labor at any point. I need to get my clothes on, and <clears throat> I made sure I had fresh undies with it, and and so that I could take and lay out a, a pad to collect all that water because water was still gushing. I'm standing there, and water was gushing out. I'm standing there like, okay, what do I do next? <laughs> I was like, get us, to, get us to. And she's like, don't be nervous, everything's gonna be fine and whatever. I'm like, oh dear. So everything's gonna be fine and whatever. And she's like, go in there. So I'm like, I'm not nervous, I'm fine. <laughs> okay, because I'm telling you, I was so calm. I just had the, I just had this sense of calm over me and like, you know, everything is good. Alright then. So yeah, I get my clothes on. And um, yeah, I went. I went into the bathroom. Mommy's like, no time for you to be, to be washing off anything. I'm like, yeah, man. Right. I'm like, yeah. I'm not going to just drag on clothes and dirty, stinky. No. The water, the water, whatever the water is called. I'm not gonna just drag on my clothes. I need to wash that off. <laughs> <laughs> well all of this is happening in my mind because I'm like really calm going to the bathroom wash it up 
And then she's like, you need to hurry up, you need to hurry up. So she's like, she's like, okay, just stay calm. I'm like, I'm fine. <laughs> so then I'll get my clothes on. And um, after I get my clothes on, I felt a, a contraction. And like, I knew that had to be a contraction because it felt like, like period pains. Like, like, you know. It, it was it was a, a good cramp like it was serious I'm like okay this have to be a contraction so she said I stopped I'm like okay <sighs> okay so if this is what it feels like I should be fine I should be good I'm I'm good I'm like okay hmm. all right I'm like okay let's go Marvin gets the bag up go to the car Kisa hops in also. She hops in the front seat. I hop in the back seat. I'm like, I feel like I need to be in the back seat. Hop in the back seat and sit there. <clears throat> we drop her home. She she doesn't live too far from us, so um drop her home and I'm like, oh my gosh, I forgot my memory card. Um the the camera not working, I need to get the memory card so it turn back around, go back home. Um I'm like, she will call up for all like, she can I borrow your memory card? Cause mine not working. And like, okay. She's like, okay, okay. So he go, he get the memory, he gets the memory card. And like, so we head down the road. I'm trying to put it, but the camera memory card or whatever. He's like, like this not working. I call it back. I'm like, that not working. We need to get the other one. So it turns back around. Don't you? I'm supposed to be going up to the hospital. I'm worrying about memory card. And I'm supposed to be going to the hospital to give birth. Like, really? What? <laughs> he gets the um he gets the memory card, brings it out to me. Chinat is like, What are you turn back again? He's of course we're going to the hospital. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> so Chinat's up. And I go, go up to the hospital now. On my way to the hospital, I got got like two three intense it it like got intense like real intense like my back not 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 really my back it was like uh, i don't even remember it's like like my ah my it just it felt like period cramps really like real intense period cramps like okay okay i can do this i i like I, it, 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 it just comes on so quick that it just, it, it, it just happened so quick I wasn't really expecting it and then it just eased I'm like okay okay when I get the contraction again I will know how to deal with it because I know what it feels like like the very first one that I felt mm -mm, that wasn't it it's the one that happened in the car okay <laughs> so like okay I can do this I got the other two I'm like okay I can do this I got like three contractions on the way to the hospital I'm like okay get up to the hospital now get out the car go in go to the reception desk I'm like okay um Marvin goes to tell him my wife is in labor and you know her water her water bag the birth at home so so then like okay go upstairs to maternity like where's maternity I I didn't even know where maternity was even myself so I'm like I'm saying like oh on the fourth floor I go up and I go upstairs I'm like so where is it we supposed to go we're looking down the hall looking left looking right I'm like okay up there's pretty big I have no idea oh that looks like a front desk let's go to the let's go to the, that area which you know it was the correct place go to the nurse and it's like oh okay um we will admit you <coughs> gave them all my information and whatnot and we go they go into this room it looks like the room that day which it which it was the room that they let women labor in and she checked my cervix and ch checked everything and i was about four and a half centimeters dilated um she said she's not gonna call it five just yet so um so she told she told me um all right i'm gonna admit you to the room Marvin and I we head to the room after she had next week, she's like um so Marvin said okay I'm gonna leave I'm gonna go and try and get all the other things while you while you sit here I'm like okay so I'm expecting to be probably delivering in the evening or whatever um so I'm sitting here I'm chilling everything feel cool I'm like right then 
drink it. Um, auntie brought me some tea. Marvin came back up. This was like nine o'clock at that point. Um, he brought me the tea and some breakfast. Auntie Nikki brought me. And there, uh, then he's like, "All right, I'm gonna leave again. I'm gonna get you the things. Get you um, <clears throat> all the stuff for the hospital bag." I'm like, okay, then, cool. Gets me the stuff for the hospital bag. Um, I'm, I'm there drinking my, I'm there drinking my tea, sipping on the tea, uh, straight, and then a little contraction. And like, okay, then all I have to do is breathe, cause I already got the contraction. I know, and I'm just cool. I'm just like, <sighs> okay, cool. All right, there, sitting at the edge of the bed. Like, all right, then sipping on my tea. I tried to vlog a little bit, started sweating like crazy because I had the mask on. I'm like, okay, cool. Go look out the window. I'm like, hmm, hospital has a nice view. Cool. Go back, sit on the bed. Like, oh. Alright then, so I'm going to sit here bored. Boredom didn't last very long after that. So it's like 11 o'clock at this point. I'm like, where is Marvin? So I try to get on the phone. I try to go on my phone and see, you know, I started scrolling through to see, you know, all who I message, if they message me back. Shanessa, they were saying, baby, we chat, no. Just shut up and message me, see if the baby, we chat, no, baby, not here. I'm like, okay, then cool. Go through. Um, <clears throat> going through mommy calls me back she's like you okay i'm like yes mommy i'm good i'm good he's like okay just stay calm you're gonna do fine marvin back home you're gonna do fine I'm like okay and cool so um like one day like okay the phone what am i saying yeah so the phone started to the battery just started to 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 run out like really really fast I'm like oh my goodness what what's happening right now because I need to get back to Marvin let go as I plug in the phone and I look the phone didn't even charge take the phone off take the phone off um try to see if I can get to Marvin the phone shut completely down I'm like okay all right then let me plug it in to see if it'll boot back up the nurse comes see I tried to get up off the bed and I could not get up off the bed like I I just couldn't get up so I'm like okay so I tried to sit back down I'm like okay all right money for it's gonna be fine it's gonna be fine because I say I couldn't call Marvin at the front desk and I just I couldn't move the nurse comes and she asks me you know how you feel so I'm like I feel like I'm gonna throw up because at that point I felt like I was gonna throw up so now I I I she gets us she's like you want me to get her um the bedpan for you i'm like yes please because i feel like i'm gonna throw up then she brings a bedpan for me i ain't going i'm like oh I'm trying to get it out and then another nurse comes she's like Shh, no 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 don't let her do that she she's going to, um she's pushing and like i didn't know that i was pushing so i guess i was pushing because i just felt like i was gonna throw up man so I'm just sitting there trying not to throw up, trying not to push and I'm telling you it felt like yeah I had the runs that's what it felt like like I would but like I was going to have the worst bathroom experience of my life that's what it felt like okay like I I was going to have the runs so then uh, I'm like okay okay buddy you can do this let's hold everything in let's hold it in I'm just sitting there. Um, the nurse left me at this point. She already gone back. She's like, remember, don't push, don't push. I'm like, all right, I'm, I'm not gonna push. I sit down there. I already forget about calling Marvin. Okay. Sitting there, and I'm like, okay, I need somebody. So I'm like, oh boy, Marvin should have been here. Sitting there at the edge of the bed, shaking, not knowing that Marvin downstairs the entire time because they won't let him up saying you can't go upstairs or whatever and then she's like they're like he's trying to tell them that his wife is in labor and you know he needs to be upstairs they're like oh they didn't call you upstairs so you can't go upstairs which he could have gone upstairs the nurses 
they were asking me where he was and I'm like I was he was supposed to be back by now so I don't know where he is and my phone had died so I didn't I didn't call him so I'm there sitting there at the edge of the bed I'm shaking I'm trying to get the, the nurse's attention I'm waving at the nurse I'm like so then the nurse think that I'm waving hi I tell it I'm still doing my story <laughs> You, you want to come and tell them what had happened downstairs? Okay. What had happened downstairs? Why you didn't come upstairs? <laughs> he acting shy, but anyway, so so the dog sit there at the edge of the bed. I'm like, whew, whew. so the dog I'm like, okay, okay. I'm waving at the nurse. I'm trying to get her to come, so she think I'm telling her hi. I'm like. I'm like in my mind I'm like I, I can't talk too loud I can't talk I can't say anything I'm like lady I'm not telling you hi so she gave it you're like oh, no in my mind I'm like no please come come another nurse same thing wave I'm like okay what am I going to do now I can't get their attention she up <laughs> I can't, I can't get her attention. So I know. So I know I'm like, okay, I have to get some type of energy because I need to call. I needed to call I'm going Marvin. To I'm going to finish it. Hmm? Yeah, to... give me her. Okay. Yeah, she can sit there. back now, okay? Don't make a move. Okay, guys, it's the next day. I didn't get to finish off my story last night. Um, the battery died on me, so yeah. I'm there, I'm sitting there at the edge of the bed. I'm shaking at this point. I'm shaking. I'm like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I felt like she was going to fall out. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I ended up, um, I ended up trying to get the le very last nurse that passed the, the um, was passing the, the room door because I was like right there at the exit. My bed was like right there. So I'm like, I was just signaling for her to come, like like that because I, I remember I told you I can't I couldn't talk at that point so I told her so then she 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 came in and anyways but when she came in she had to ask me all the questions because I couldn't talk I honestly could not say anything I don't know what was happening but I just couldn't talk like my, my voice went to mute all my energy was somewhere else it was not in my voice so so, so then she asked me so she asked me what happened what happened to you so then I said because she she's another nurse she didn't know that I was you know laboring so then I told her so then, so then I, I, I tried to tell her like you know like I feel I feel you know that's all I could have said so then she said she said she said you feel like you need to use the bathroom I, said, I went like this so she said so she said okay I mean that baby's there. Let's try and walk to the delivery room. I was like, I so said, so then now I tried to get up. I tried to get up again, and it just wasn't happening. So I sit back down, and then I tried to get up again and sit back down. I just I couldn't. So I just said, okay, let me go and get a wheelchair. So she goes, she gets a wheelchair. She comes back in. She's like. And she tried to help me up. She's like, you have to help me get into the chair. You have to help me get to the chair. She pulls me up. And she pulled me up. And I, I took all the energy that I could on my life to get up. <laughs> to get up off that bed and to get into the chair. Boom. Up. Back down into the chair. Oh, so then as soon as I, as soon as I hit the chair, started, started wheeling me down the hallway. And then all, all in the, a bunch of nurses were gathered around me going down the hallway and she wheeling me down and she they they asked me, Where's your partner? Where's your partner? I'm like, I don't know, he was supposed to be back already. I got some vo I got a, a little voice so then they so then when I got into the room now I took all my energy again to get up onto the um the the bed for the delivery. They got me out chair up on the bed, so then he like, what's his number? What's his number? Call out his number. And um, I'm laying there. I feel like I have no energy. And um, 
and apparently a nurse went to to try and call him but she got distracted and ended up going to another room because there were like three other people in delivery at that same time so it was cr they're like um the nurses and them they were all excited because it was like four deliveries like all right you go to that room you go to that room i'll come to this room this is you know it was crazy <laughs> Yeah, one of the nurses actually went downstairs to get to Marvin, but I mean, she doesn't even know what Marvin looks like, so, like, how would she even know? And he was down there, and Marvin said that he saw her, he, she went down there, she actually got down to, the, you know, like, well, thanks for the effort, but you wouldn't even know what the lady, what Marvin looks like. <laughs> so anyway, she, she got down, and after she, um, she she when she got back upstairs and she came into the room she's like oh i didn't see him she did see him but she just didn't know it was him <laughs> but anyway so so i'm there i'm on the bed and and they they tell they i i back to me on the bed and then they open so then uh, they opened my legs i didn't realize that it was them open my legs i thought it was me so then i'm closing back my legs they're like no 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 <laughs> open your legs <laughs> and they, i'm like in my mind i'm like with pleasure i need to get this baby out but i wasn't saying anything because my voice went again no sound i couldn't even make a peep i was i was like my energy was gone again so then they're like okay every time you feel a contraction you need to push okay so then contraction lick me again floops so then i try boy i say all right then like i just said when you feel the contraction you have to push it and i start pushing so then i push i push i push i bear down bear down bear down bear down i said okay good 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 you're doing you're doing good you're doing good she coming she coming she coming she coming she coming I couldn't do it my mom. I was like, okay, that's it, I can't I can't push. <laughs> so I lay back now and they're like, okay, alright, you're doing good. One of the nurses held my hand, she said, You're doing good, you're doing good, you're doing good. Go, she's bear down again, bear down, bear down, bear down, bear down, bear down, bear down. But they're like, yes, 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 you're right there, she's right there, she's right there, she's right there, she's right there. She right there. I was I ran out of energy again. Boom, lay back down, they're like, alright, alright. She said, like, on this another push, you have to get this baby out. I'm like, okay. So then, I'm like, okay. I have to get all my energy, gather all my energy. I said in my head, all right, Monifa, you have to do this. You have to do this. So then, I'm like, okay. All right. Feel a contraction again. I'm like, okay, go, 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 go. Bed up, bed up, bed up, bed up, bed up. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. They're like, yes, 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 yes. You're doing it, you're doing it, you're doing it. The nurses were really nice, okay? Like, I felt like a champion. <laughs> you're doing it, you're doing it. Boom! Then you just hear her head. She, uh, I, let me tell you, right? Let me tell you. When that point for that head to come out, I feel um. <laughs> Like, I have to talk that, like, for that one. I felt it, okay? Like, the head popped out. It's like yes oh finally so they're like just give me one slight push and the rest of the body was out and they carried her over to the table and they just you know wipe off some of the whatever it is that was on her and she wasn't crying at that point and i'm like isn't she supposed to cry <laughs> but yeah she she and then um so then now like like two seconds late two seconds after that i just heard her go <laughs> i just like i was my heart melts it's like oh hear her little voice <laughs> so then now i so then now i'm there uh, i forget that I forget that okay something else needs to come out this is like oh no, all of a sudden I start feeling them pressing on my tummy pressing on my tummy pressing on my tummy that was the worst feeling ever I could give birth to Maria 99 times than to have that experience so pressing on my tummy and it hurt so much and came down and I you know they told me to to give just give one slight push you give a slight push but it came out I was, Percent is a huge thing like this 
being a sack of grossness <laughs> with veins and stuff like you <laughs> anyway so got the placent in this little silver tray thing and carry it carry it wherever I don't know I, I was in pain at that point like um, um I got like a one degree tear and they they inj they inject they had to inject me with um inject me so that um the area to numb the area so okay that big needle the needle was like probably this long like you know they inject that into my lady parts and I, was, <laughs> and I was like ow that's all i could say at that point ow because my energy was gone to be out so i'm like ow when they inject me and uh, you know, she starts soothing me up. She tells me if you feel start to feel anything, you feel tugging. If you start to feel anything else, let me know. And I know I'm feeling the tugging, as she said. And then I, yeah, I started to feel the needle. I'm like, ow, ow. <laughs> she's, she's, she's like, you're feeling it? I'm like, mm -hmm. <laughs> so she said, um. I said, okay, we're almost done, we're almost done. And then the doctor had to come and check. She checked to make sure that the nurse did it, did everything correctly. And she uh, she had to to um, sew a bit more. Because apparently there was a bit more that needed to be sewed. And they had to go up inside. Apparently I ripped somewhere inside there. They had to sew up inside there somewhere. Um, I don't know if maybe um, the pushing that I was doing before, beforehand. Do you remember I told you that I, um, I felt like I was going to throw up and the nurse was telling me I'm pushing. So maybe that probably caused some kind of tearing somewhere up in there. They had to go up in there and sew up in there. <laughs> And uh, yeah, so I'm there, I'm laying there like, oh my goodness. Um, while they were doing that, they tried to bring baby over and give me skin to skin to distract me from the pain. That didn't distract me from grass, okay? So, <laughs> so um, they took her, they took her back to the table, finished dressing her. At this point, Marvin apparently got a chance to get up. And you know, I saw him coming through the door and he all over and smiles and went to the table. And you they gave me like, Oh, this is daddy. I'm like, Yes. And they took him, they took her, and they took her and they gave him to give her while they continued doing whatever to me in the, in the lower region. And I'm looking and you know, Marvin there and holding her and he's so proud, a proud papa. And you know, they got me dressed. They you know, they really helped me out. I got some nice nurses, they're really nice and um, yeah, that's basically it. We went back to the room. We went back to the room, they got me back into the wheelchair. I got a little energy back, <laughs> thank God. Um yeah, I felt, just felt really sore and you know, I felt really good. I got into the chair, they wheeled me back. Marvin was still holding her and he went back to the room and I was sitting there. Then they, I took her and I tried to um, breastfeed her. And yeah, that's it. That was, that's the birthday, <laughs> birthday um, story. Uh, yeah. I hope I didn't miss anything, but yeah, it was it was it was a good experience. I I should say everything happened pretty quickly. It was like um, I gave birth to her at 1:15 in the afternoon, um, so I'd say between five and 1:15. Uh, yeah, I wasn't laboring for very long. It was it was good. It was pretty good from beginning to end. It was a good, it was a good experience, and the nurses were very good up there. So, um, yeah, a lot of people, a lot of people keep saying, "Oh, the nurses, the nurses and doctors, and 
whatever I'll put Monty John then a good and then a red. No, but I guess I was lucky to get some some really nice doctors, some really nice nurses. So yeah, praise God for that. <laughs> That's the bad story. But I do have another announcement. Um I am going to try and do vlogmas. So um yeah, I hope you guys tune in every time. Tell your friends to tune in to my channel for the vlogmas. And um yeah, I have, there's a lot that's going to be going on throughout the month of December. So, yeah, a lot of changes and things. So, yeah, Vlogmas is going to be, Vlogmas is going to be cool. Or at least I'm praying for that. So. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking my videos and all of that. I mean, editing is something else, okay? <laughs> So yeah, anyways, I'll see you in the next vlog, um, which probably should be Wednesday or Thursday, I don't know, whichever day, Wednesday or Thursday, I'll see you then. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching guys. Bye. <laughs>